So I was really unsure about making this video, to be honest, because it's new to the channel. But I've seen a lot of people ask, and I've actually had a few people ask in the chat room about investing, and they've only got a small account, and how can they grow their wealth? In this time, in the current situation, finding money and making money is very, very hard. So how do you start investing if you've only got a little bit of cash, your job's cutting back on hours and things like that. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about three side hustles anyone, pretty much anyone can do and earn potentially $500 a day extra to your income in your spare time. Now I am going to start in reverse order with my least favorite going on to my favorite because quite frankly the earning potential is pretty much limitless with the last one. But before I get into it, please do look to your left, pick up an object, whatever's close to you, smash it into the screen, make sure that like button's turned blue, subscribe and turn on the bell. And if you do all them three things, let me know in the comment section below what that object was. Funniest one wins and will be pinned at the end of the video. If you also want to support the channel, there's a Patreon link in the description where you can get some exclusive perks to help out the channel and also get free access to the chat room. Also, there's a WhatsApp group where I talk about the trades I am buying before I buy and sell them. And if you join up on eToro, but you're not from America or Canada, you can sign up on the pinned comment below and you can get free lifetime access to my investing room where I post my weekly investment portfolio and everything else I am buying as and selling as it happens. So yeah, check all that out in the uh, comments and descriptions below. See so first way you can earn $500 a day and you need to take this with a pinch of salt because it does depend on where you're living, how much you're driving, etc. But I am shocked this thing exists because it is literally ingenious. There's a thing called Rapify. Now, if you own a car, your parents own a car, someone owns a car, steal a car. No, don't, don't steal a car, not just relax. But if you have a car, you can get it wrapped in a sticker and you get paid for driving that car to work, to the shop, whatever else you're doing, parking in a car park at nine o'clock at night when there's other people in that car with you and the car starts, no, I'm joking but you can get your car wrapped and you can make some good money with that. Now, all you need to do is you need to get the app, sign up, put in your car details, put in your, uh, your relevant information, and then you will get an offer. And it depends on your location, the company, and how long you have it. There's different options. So you can just have a sticker in the back window to a full wrap. Now, in my opinion, if you're gonna do this, go all out and get the craziest wrap you can find. You don't have to do it. You can decline offices. Uh, offers even, and you can also accept offers. So it's completely up to you, but it's a good little way of just adding on for a couple of times a month, a different wrap and earning some good money. Now, Erica, who is a advocate on the Rapify app said that she had an extra $450 a month from just driving and commuting to and from work. Now, if you wanted to go the extra mile, you could probably team this up with Uber and you could drive around a sponsored Uber car which I think would make genius sense. So all you do is you, when you're driving to your normal commuting, you turn on the app and you get paid per mile you drive, which makes sense. And I think that if you did this, it's just a nice way of making extra cash while you literally are doing stuff you would do anyway. So if you team them two up, I think that you could easily make $500 a day. And more importantly, your car gets a brand new look and you don't have to scratch your car because you've got a wrap on it. So it's just a good way of sort of making some extra cash for literally doing nothing extra that you wouldn't be doing already. Now, the downside for this is obviously you have to use your own petrol, so you can't just do jump in the car, they're gonna pay you fuel and all that stuff and you drive and you get paid. It's something for me that is just a little extra. You add it on to what you're doing already and you can earn some extra side cash that can definitely help you out when it comes to investing into a stock portfolio. By all this money, you can just literally throw it into the stock market and get that working harder and harder and harder for you. But like I said, it does depend on where you live, but strongly it's worth a download. Have a check it out and see how it works for you. Now on to the next one, which is quite a good one in my opinion. And that is social media, social media marketing to be precise. Now, a lot of companies, whether it's a butcher's or a family run store or any sort of local family business are struggling right now, especially in the pandemic. But more importantly, businesses like this were always struggling against, you know, your Walmarts and your big supermarkets. And you could even be just a mechanic on the corner. If they're of a certain generation, they might just be very good at sharing kit and videos on Facebook. But when it comes to running a business page, they may quite frankly suck. If you're young and you're hip and you're with the cool kids, you might have a good way of growing an Instagram audience or growing a Facebook audience. And these people, you know, if it's a butcher's, they might have a 20% sale on lamb and they just post it on their page. But because they've only got 10 followers, it's completely pointless. 
Now, my advice is you go and see these people and you meet them face to face and say, look, I really love your product. I really, you know, I come here. And if it's in your local community, it's rewarding in that aspect because you're helping your local community, maybe even friends and family. And if you go in there and you say, look, I will help manage your portfolio for a small fee, $25 a week, and I will work on that. That's an extra $100 a month. If you do that to several businesses, you can earn literal money while you're sat on the toilet, dropping the kids off in the morning with your coffee. By the way, I don't go to the toilet and do a number two with a coffee in hand. It was a joke. But for me, I think this is a very, very good way. It's the modern day way when you were a teenager and you used to cut grass or you used to do a paper round. I think this is a modern way where you can earn extra cash. Think about it. If you're commuting to work, you can take a pause. They're gonna send you the sale, they're gonna send you the stuff, and all you have to do is go there with a decent camera phone, take some pictures, get a backlog of 100 pictures, and then you can promote that way with your usual hashtags and things like that. These businesses really do need help, and I think $25 a month or 25 euros or whatever, you can charge whatever you want. And if you grow that person's audience by double in a, in a month, which could be quite easy to do on some of the businesses, then you can show your worth and ask for more money. And the best part about it, if you pick companies you enjoy, coffee shops, butchers, things like that, you might even get some free stuff from them as well. So it's worth a try. You do need to be a bit outgoing, so it is a bit of a drawback. And another drawback would be that you do have to spend a bit of a time and a bit of grind. But once you start seeing them rewards and you'll see the smile on that person's face, it will help you out a lot. And the reason I know this is I've got a family member at home who's doing this currently and he's making around about 700 pounds a month from that alone. And he is currently 19 years old. So if he can do it, anyone can do it. All you have to do is take a picture, throw on some hashtags, come in now for a 20% discount on lamb, hashtag, 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 hashtag the town, and you're good to go. Very easy to do, and these genuinely, this generation uh, really do need help. So yeah, go and help them out and earn some side cash. $25 a week to a business is nothing if it means that business can reach a larger audience. Literally, it's one or two customers extra a month. Now, another big benefit with that as well is the earning potential is literally endless. Once you've built up a network, you can then offer discounts to that company if they introduce you to suppliers and things like that, and you could eventually maybe even start a business from it. So it is a good little side hustle, and for me, I think you could easily make $500 a day from that business if you just put in a couple of months hard work. Now coming on to the third and my favorite way of making some extra side cash if you wanted to. Now to be clear, I don't do any of these, but I do think this is a solid way of making extra money. Dog walking. That's right, you can walk dogs, and everyone thinks, oh, you need to put a picture up in your local news agents or shop, and you know someone has to then read it. No, there's a lot of companies out there now, like rover.com, where they'll do the hard work for you, they'll tell you what dogs need walking in your area, and then you get a list. Now, obviously, you can walk more than one dog at a time, so if you get lucky and you get the right clients, it's repeat business, and after a while, sneak peek, you could probably get rid of rover.com and charge them directly, once you've built a relationship with that customer. So you could even earn a bit of side cash extra there, if you know what I'm saying, wink, wink. But in the UK, there was someone who was saying they were earning between 10 and 15 pounds an hour for walking one dog, one pooch. Now, most dogs are gonna be walked for more than one hour, so it's a good way to get fit. If you walk four dogs, that's three, four dogs an hour, that's a damn good salary. That's like $75 an hour. And you're gonna be walking these dogs for more than one hour, because by the time you pick them up and da 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 and if you put them in a car and drive somewhere, that's good. You've also got on, you know, things like Rover where you can actually dog sit and things like that and earn some extra cash that way. But if you walk four dogs in the UK at that uh, hourly rate of 15 pounds an hour for $75 an hour, you only need to work seven hours and you've made literally a killing. You've made like $525 in a day. I mean, that's more than the 500 the video promised you. So make sure you've hit that like button. But dog sitting and dog walking is very, very rewarding if you're an animal person. I'm sure there's one for cats, although you don't really walk cats, but cat sitting and things like that. But it's a very, very good way for you to just get out, get some exercise and earn some extra side cash. You can do this on your days off. You can do it when you come home from work. But I'm pretty sure everybody would be happy with an extra $75 for literally an hour and a half's work. And that is very, very good money. It's actually $75 for an hour's work, thinking on it, not an hour and a half. Very good money, much more than the minimum salary, right? Now, once you've built up this reputation, my advice would then be to go and advertise on Facebook Marketplace that you're a dog walker, you do it on these hours. You can put your own advert up and just put it in a caption for local people in your area. And that way it makes it a bit more convenient for you. And once you've built up your clientele, you can ask the clients for referrals and build up your business that way. 
If you're providing a good service, your customers will want to help you. All you need to do is ask. Now the downside with this, and it is a pretty shitty downside, literally, because the more money you make, the more dog shit you're gonna have to pick up. So make sure you've brought your own plastic bags. Key benefits, easily make $500 a day if you put some effort into it. You're gonna get fit from walking all this time. Seven hours a day walking is definitely gonna make you have killer calves. You can work your own hours and you're your complete own boss. So I think this is a very, very easy way of making some extra cash. All you have to do is put a little bit of effort in and get over that you know, block of meeting new people and walking dogs. And if you're not a people person, this is the perfect job for you, let's be honest. So these are my three ways to make $500 a day. If you've watched this far in the video, please do say Shamorn in the comment section. It's just a bit of an experiment. Wanted to see who can say Shamorn in the comments. Thanks very much for watching. If you want more of these videos, because there's literally, I've got a list like that of side hustles, let me know in the comments. And from there, I will say goodbye. Take care, be safe, make sure you subscribe, peace. Oh, <laughs>